health insurance. We all know the concept of health insurance was proposed in 1694 by Hugh the Elder Chamberlain from the Peter Chamberlain family. In the late 19th century, accident insurance began to be available, which operated much like modern disability insurance. In this lesson, we will study the meaning of health insurance, considerations in determination of appropriate coverages, personal accident or disability income insurance, and moral hazards and factors affecting insurance prices. After going through this presentation, you should be able to explain the meaning of health insurance, discuss the considerations in determination of appropriate coverages, describe the factors leading to rising health care expenditures, explain the types of coverages and discuss the adverse selection, moral hazards and factors affecting insurance prices. The term health insurance is generally used to describe a form of insurance that pays for medical expenses. It is sometimes used more broadly to include insurance covering disability or long-term nursing or custodial care needs. It may be provided through a government-sponsored social insurance program or from private insurance companies. The contract may be renewable annually or monthly. The type and amount of health care costs that will be covered by the health plan are specified in advance. Health insurance, also known as MediClaim, offers protection against unforeseen medical emergencies. In situations like unexpected illness or accident, the health insurance takes care of cost of treatment, hospitalization and other medical services. There are medical insurances that also provide support for pre- as well as post-hospitalization steps like cost of medical tests or purchasing medicines. Most comprehensive private health insurance programs cover the cost of routine, preventive, emergency health care procedures, cost of most prescription drugs and sometimes covers disability or long-term nursing or custodial care needs. Health insurance may be provided through a government-sponsored social insurance program or by private insurance companies. It may be purchased on a group basis, x for example by a firm to cover its employees or purchased by individual customers. The covered groups or individuals pay premiums for protection from high or unexpected health care expenses. Comprehensive private health insurance must be based on estimation of the overall risk of health care expenses, developing a routine finance structure, such as a monthly premium or annual amount. Money is available reimbursement to pay for the health care benefits specified in the insurance agreement whenever required. Policies administered by a central organization or government agency or a private or not-for-profit entity operating a health plan. Factors leading to rising health care expenditures are rising hospital cost, greater emphasis and increased spending on drug therapy diseases, hike in fees of healthcare providers, increased consumer expectations, and insulation from the true cost of care because of employer-financed health insurance, increased consumer demand because of increases in life expectancy, and better medical facilities due to advent of new medical technology, especially for the treatment of conditions that were considered untreatable till now. Comprehensive health insurance pays a percentage of the cost of hospital and physician charges after a deductible usually applies to hospital charges or a copay usually applies to physician charges but may apply to some hospital services is met by the insured. Scheduled health insurance plans are not meant to replace a traditional comprehensive health insurance plan and are more of a basic policy providing access to day-to-day -day health care such as going to the doctor or getting a prescription drug.
The main points of distinction are comprehensive health insurance pays a percentage, maybe 100, 90, 80, 70, 60 or 50 percent of the cost of the hospital. These plans are generally expensive because of the high potential benefit payout, rupees 10 lakh to rupees 50 lakh is common and because of the vast array of covered benefits, scheduled health insurance plans are more of a basic policy providing access to day-to-day -day health care such as going to the doctor or getting a prescription drug. In recent years, these plans have got the name mini med plans or association plans. Scheduled plans are not meant to be effective for catastrophic events. They cannot replace a comprehensive plan. These plans cost much less than comprehensive health insurance. They generally pay limited benefits amount directly to the service provider and payments are based upon the plan's schedule of benefits. In personal accident insurance, it is deemed that a person has unlimited financial interest on his own life. Personal accident insurance policies, PAIP policy, solely covers any bodily injuries due to accidents which are external, violent and visible. Coverage for four contingencies that may arise from an accident. These are death, permanent total disability, permanent partial disability and temporary total disability. Disability results in loss of income and earning power, involving additional expenses and extra needs. Partial disability is a term found in disability income policies providing for the payment of reduced monthly income if insured can't work full time and or is prevented from performing one or more important daily duties pertaining to his occupation. Generally, the policy defines the disability in physical terms, viz. loss of sight of both the eyes, amputations of both the hands at or above the wrist, or amputation of both the legs at or above the ankles, etc. A feature added to some life insurance policies which provides for the waiver of premiums upon the furnishing of proof that the insured has become totally and permanently disabled. Typically, the premium is around Rs. 125 to 750 for a PAIP with a Rs. 250,000 cover. Any person aged between 5 and 70 years can take this policy, in some cases 80 years. The dependent family members between 5 and 80 years can also be insured under it. Premiums don't vary with age and insurers give discount of around 10% when family members' coverage is taken. Customer who does not need a long-term commitment required in a life policy can take a standalone personal accident cover. PAIP's coverage in terms of age limit is more and the coverage doesn't end after a claim is made, as is the case with accident riders. India is the only country where hospitalization insurance policy was being sold as MediClaim insurance policies. The very name gives a feeling to the insured that claim has to be lost. If motor insurance policy is not sold as motor insurance claim policy, and household insurance policy is not sold as household claim policy, then why this be named as MediClaim? Health insurance and MediClaim are two different names for the same product. The change has started coming and now we have started calling it health insurance. ICICI Lombard has even named it as health insurance policy. Calling it a health insurance is a positive way of looking at this insurance. It also gives us a feeling that we as a society have started moving from curative medical care to preventive medical care. According to sources in Oriental Insurance, it is being felt that mindset has started changing over the last couple of years. The new middle class of India aspires for quality healthcare services and doesn't mind going to expensive hospitals like Apollo or Escorts. 
there is no reason why healthcare insurance should not be successful with this class. Insurance companies use the term adverse selection to describe the tendency for only those who will benefit from insurance to buy it. Specifically, when talking about health insurance, unhealthy people are more likely to purchase health insurance because they anticipate large medical bills. On the other side, people who consider themselves to be reasonably healthy may decide that medical insurance is an unnecessary expense. If they see the doctor once a year and it costs rupees 250, that's much better than making monthly insurance payments of rupees 40. The fundamental concept of insurance is that it balances costs across a large random sample of individuals. For instance, an insurance company has a pool of 1,000 randomly selected subscribers, each paying rupees 100 per month. One person becomes very ill while the others stay healthy, allowing the insurance company to use the money paid by the healthy people to pay for the treatment cost of the sick person. Adverse selection could leave an insurance company with primarily sick subscribers and no way to balance out the cost of their medical expenses with a large number of healthy subscribers. Because of adverse selection, insurance companies employ medical underwriting using a patient's medical history to screen out those whose pre-existing medical conditions pose too great a risk for the risk pool. Moral hazard occurs when an insurer and a consumer enter into a contract under symmetric information, but one party takes action not taking into account in the contract which changes the value of the insurance. A common example of moral hazard is third-party payment when the parties involved in making a decision are not responsible for bearing costs arising from the decision. The population of those countries is aging and a larger group of senior citizens requires more intensive medical care than a young healthier population. Advances in medicine and medical technology can also increase the cost of medical treatment. Lifestyle related factors can increase utilization and therefore insurance prices such as increases in obesity caused by insufficient exercise and unhealthy food choices, excessive alcohol use, smoking and use of street drugs. Other factors noted by the PwC study included the movement to broader access plans, higher price technologies and cost shifting from Medicaid and the uninsured to private payers. Now let us check if we have understood the various concepts discussed in this lesson clearly. Health insurance may be provided through a government sponsored legal insurance program or by private insurance companies. Right or wrong? Right. Scheduled health insurance plans are also called money plans or association plans. Right or wrong? Right. Health insurance can be purchased on a group basis or purchased by many med consumers. Right or wrong? Right. Before we end, let us briefly revise what we have studied till so far. The term health insurance is generally used to describe a form of insurance that pays for medical expenses. It is sometimes used more broadly to include insurance covering disability or long-term nursing or custodial care needs. It may be provided through a government-sponsored social insurance program or from private insurance companies. Comprehensive health insurance pays a percentage of the cost of hospital and physician charges after a deductible usually applies to hospital charges or a copay usually applies to physician charges but may apply to some hospital services is met by the insured. Scheduled health insurance plans are not meant to replace a traditional comprehensive health insurance plan and are more of a basic policy providing access to day-to-day -day health care such as going to the doctor or getting a prescription drug. Personal Accident Insurance Policies, PAIP policy, 
solely covers any bodily injuries due to accidents which are external, violent and visible. The very name gives a feeling to the insured that the claim has to be lodged. Insurance companies use the term adverse selection to describe the tendency for only those who will benefit from insurance to buy it. Moral hazard occurs when an insurer and a consumer enter into a contract under symmetric information, but one party takes action not taking into account in the contract which changes the value of the insurance.